Welcome back guys, this is the new episode which you want to save. Um, this should be the episode about the part 2 of uh, January uh, video, but I made a mistake, so it's going to be the January video and also the video with uh, February as well, with one match of the Champions League. I'm going to cover the transfers that I did and the match that Morata bottled for us. So that is going to be in this video. So without further ado, let's go to the episode. So guys, as you can see, we are end of the February and the next match is going to be in March on the Friday on the live stream as well. So with the money wise, we have only left 6 million in the balance. So. Probably by the end of the season, I think we are going to be 20 million in red, but who knows, still money is hemorrhaging, even though we sold our biggest spender, Ramsey, but yeah, still the same issues, stay, still the same problems, but let's, let's jump in into the schedule and show you. So, last two parts that were to cover in, in January was the Bologna match, cup with Fiorentina and match uh, away with Atalanta. So I'm going to show you. We had a result, then Dani Alves got the red card, we lost it. We had the result, look at this, 3-0, he got the red card, we got fourth goal, and then we bottle it in the second half. Even though we put the, the defense, I'm going to show you the match. But yeah, Morata blew us big time. I'm going to show you the key highlights of this match. And you're going to see that match started excellent for us. Morata scored first goal, then Chiesa, uh, again Chiesa, and then Ventecourt, and from that point on, all hell breaks loose. Now this is our first goal. Long ball to Keane, Keane all alone, cross and Morata heads it into the goal. So excellent, excellent start. Who could uh, wish the best start like that in, in the cup match? Then we had the chance again from the corner. But instead of that, we scored like this. Locatelli, Bentacur, and look at how he miraculously find out. Chiesa, all alone, scored like that. Excellent, excellent goal. Excellent, beautiful goal. Then, another goal from Chiesa. Excellent, excellent. Sandro is our best assist player now and then this happened this happened Morata dived like a butcher and get straight red card now beautiful goal from Bentacur and then we had the result on the first first half we had an excellent result we were 4-0 up and then it started. It started like a slow demise and it's come at the very end. Look at this. We were down. We couldn't do the anything. Killini tackled that ball, but ball ricocheted to Torreira. Torreira had the open net and he scored on us. Now, the second part happens in, in, in the second half. This is how we conceded our second goal. Even though we had defensive mentality, we still were conceded stupid goals. Look at this. From nothing, from nothing, they created Antenda, missed that ball, 
and look at this so he didn't look for the ball flight and we conceded that goal then it comes the third goal easily like this Kukorin no it wasn't Kukorin sorry Kukorin scored the last goal for them but look at this again lose at the mid and Callejon all of them beautiful action from Fiorentina and we will fall free then straight straight instant we conceded the fourth goal again we lost the ball again look at this it's 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 stupidity it's total stupidity from the part of my players look at this Callejon Eric all alone and he scored on us and they won the extra time they won the extra time and this is when Kukorin scored on us look at this Venuti pass to Callejon Callejon to Castroville Torreira long ball to Kukorin Kukorin scored a screamer a screamer from 30 meters and they deserve it Fiorentina deserve it to go in the next round we didn't we didn't deserve it and I don't know how Morata got 7.2 rating in that match with the red cards and Entenda got 5.9 Entenda get the the short end of the stick and Morata I, 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 I don't believe it I don't believe it then then again we find ourselves in form returning to Serie A winning against Venezia winning in derby match against Napoli winning again against Empoli then we had the match against Sporting I'm going to show you this match as well because it's Champions League match Morata scored for us late equalizer but look at this look at this I, I, I think it's going to show you only two major things that happened in this game and and the rain was pouring down like hell it was pouring down and I think that is why we didn't score any goals and the first part of the of the game there were no sign of rains but afterwards it, it started pouring like i don't know like a biblical flood of some kind so sporting had possession they down it and look at this miss look at this miss i, I think it's projected like that and this was the goal i was thinking that ugarte was in offside but no no he wasn't it was straight regular goal for them and yeah shit happened now this is the, the time that rain started we had another excellent chance with Chiesa and their goalkeeper I don't know saves it like it's nothing so that shit happened also and from the corner nothing now the second half I think this is the chance for them they had the chance to have the yeah and Chesney somehow saves it who know what would happen if the result is differently but yeah stupid stupid things are happening now this is the chance that we again had but Morata was in offside but Keane was the one who take the shot so I don't know how that is an offside because there is no indication that he uses the ball and now Morata scored uh, the late equalizer for us at 90th minute so we have the result for the next away match but yeah it's still close with them so I don't know anytime soon I, I think 
we are not going to in the next round it's going to be tough for us for the champions league i know that we can uh, manage to beat sporting in at home but the next round is going to be tough on us and now the transfer period transfers that are going to happen uh, we secure Xavi Simons. Uh, Roma took our our mm, <laughs> Ricky Puig. Roma, we didn't have money for him, so they uh, he got to them. We're trying to get Zule on a free transfer as well, and the club, the players who left the club. Yeah, where is that transfer center? I know that. The players that left in this transfer window. Well, Rabio was sold earlier on. But yeah, Aaron Ramsey to Club Bridge is sold for 6 million. And Dani Alves for 25k. No, sorry. 250k is sold and also Marco de Grazza sold for 300 eventually with the bonuses so those are the three players that we sold in January transfer window not much of money that we get but at least it's a step in some kind of direction with the money so I don't know honestly I think we are going to be 20 million in red by the end of the season that means that we need to win the uh, Serie A title and also it means that we need to at least uh, get to semi-finals of the Champions League so we can have some kind of balance before the next season in other cases we need to sell a lot of players and yeah let me show you the table right now right now Tiro Immobile is our top goal scorer in the Serie A. Then follows by Martinez and Moise Akin. But yeah, Milan is still pushing by the FIA and they are going to win the title, obviously. Because right now we have one game more than Milan and we are one point behind of them. And Milan is playing against. Well, against Sampdoria at home, so probably they're going to win this match, so uh, I'm not going to even think that Milan is going to bottle it, but I can hope only. So the title race is still close, but Milan is leading it. So thank you guys for watching, see you next time, and see you on the live streams. Like, share, subscribe if you're liking this, and have a nice day.